Hi, Florin. Uh, I think the thing is you're, you're not quite grasping is that if I look at this uh, main page here um, and just select that text there, you see it's normal text. If you select this green bold header, it's normal text. It's not a header, it's just normal text, but it's got a plus next to it. In other words, it's exactly the same. That's Arial. That's Arial. But it's normal text plus. In other words, it's been adjusted. hasn't got the full information or the full characters that the normal text was. This one is a normal text, but it's been coloured green and it's been made bold. Similarly, as I say, that's a normal text, which is Arial 13, and it's uh, black. Um, this line break is normal text plus again, because it's Arial, but it's 10, whereas this is Arial, but it's 13. So, if, say, I was to just select this text here, note it's just normal text, there's no plus by it. Um, I can change its size. Sorry, I'll just click that. I'll undo that. Right. I'll change its size. Right click over it. I don't know, up here. Update normal text in this variant. And it's all changed there. This is still say bold and it's still normal text plus. This is still Arial and but it's ten, so it's Arial normal text plus. And what you seem to be wanting to do is select that text. Um sorry, just select that text. Um and you want to, I don't know, change the size of that to make it even smaller, say. And then if you go, to, notice it's normal text plus. If you then go, update normal text in this variant. It uptext all the text in that variant. So what you're doing is getting hold of some text like that. Unless you just think, ah, oh, it's normal text. I'll update that in this variant. It updates it all there. Don't do it. What you need to do is just change the normal text. Not normal text that has some different feature to it, some different character to it, uh, like bold or italic or underline. Um, you've got the, that's shown as normal text plus. This, I'm sorry, that is shown as normal text plus. If I was to click and hit escape so it's all changed, um, and then I change the, um, and then update normal text so much, it changes all the, um, so what I find is often useful is just to have a thing off the side here in your variant and then that is just normal text so if I wanted to change it to um, Lucida sans Unicode and make it blue if I go update normal text in this variant it changes that text so that's what Lucidia. That's Lucidia. That's Lucidia. But it's all changed. Uh, just let me to extend this down a bit. Yeah. So rather than try and change your text in in your paragraphs. 
where and I say if you want to do that just make sure you're selecting only normal text not normal text plus normal text plus got it like that normal text plus if you just want to change the font or anything else or the color or not the color the, the, anything that's already selected you can go you can go the color as well you can make that green I won't make it green I won't make it green because it's uh, make it orange because that's already green um, update normal text in this variant and that does it um, that's the way to keep it consistent you've got to keep realizing that when you select the text that's the text you want to change normal text you don't need a plus in it you only get a plus in it if you've got a variation on that text a variation on that text that hasn't got a variation on the text you will then if you change the font to a different one it comes normal text plus but it's still only normal text there's no change in that variant it just changes without changing the, the different characters you've got so as I say use this here to which is just pure normal text go down to uh, that's like a Merryweather but um, bring it down in size a bit update normal text in this variant that's what that happens that's what what it does anyway i hope that helps this is egg all the best cheerio